Welcome back, my neeps. So Amanda and I are going to be doing chapter two of the House of Danger. Uh, just a recap, uh, we have a flashlight, which we don't have any batteries for, but maybe we'll get more. Uh, we have a whirring metal spear. That we found in the pool. We don't know what it does because we pushed some buttons. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a piece of a satellite dish. From on top of the gazebo. Mm -hmm. We have the cavalry, cavalry saber. <laughs> from the statuary. Mm -hmm. We have a truck key, which we got from the maze, the yes. end of the maze. Mm -hmm. And then we still have a bottle of water left. For health and stuff. Yeah. Um, our danger meter is currently at five. We might want to use that. Yeah, we might <laughs> want to. But our psychic scale is at nine, which I'm happy with because that means yes. we're level two. And then we also got this really weird key premonition the last game as well. So it will be interesting to kind of see how it goes. So Amanda, you want to start us off on our uh, our opening of chapter two? Chapter two here. Okay, you made it. You're inside the Marston House, the cursed edifice that has haunted your nightmares for weeks. Your trek through the mansion's grounds has left you with far more questions than answers, to the point where you have to wonder if the smart move would be to turn around right now <laughs> and forget you ever came to this infernal place. Probably. But we're not going to do that. No. You're no quitter, though. <laughs> You're an aspiring detective and psychic investigator. You won't give up this case until you find, find out why a spooky, futuristic mansion you'd never seen before has somehow found its way into your dreams. And why you got a call from the house this morning. You're standing in a grand foyer. Its modern decor is elegant in its minimalism. Suddenly, a man in a delivery uniform bursts through a set of tall double doors screaming, help, help, they're after me. The man cries. He rushes toward you, but suddenly drops to the ground as if he had been hit by an invisible hammer. You dash to his side and hear his breath coming in short gasps that sound almost like sobs. He gives a terrible shriek and lies still. This man has been frightened to death, you think. Just then, he inhales sharply, jumps to his feet, and bolts past you and out of the house. You breathe a deep sigh of relief, so not quite to death. Something falls from his clothing as he makes his exit, and it hits the floor, tinkling. You kneel down to inspect the object and discover that it's a small dart, the kind that might have come from a blowgun. Whatever this man was afraid of, his fear seems to have been justified. Just how dangerous is this house? I mean, I feel like we've answered that question. It's like, called House of Danger. Again. <laughs> yeah. As your thoughts swirl, a loud buzzing noise erupts from somewhere beneath your feet, shaking the floor. The noise is so loud, it drowns out the gathering storm outside. Just as quickly as it came, the noise stops. It sure sounds like something weird is happening beneath the manor. You're willing to bet that whatever is happening in this place, the answers await you down there. That's what I do. <laughs> Draw clue 57 to discover your goal. You don't see any way to look to a lower level from the foyer. Rather, a sweeping stairway leads upstairs, while the double doors that the frightened man ran through head off to your right, and a smaller door, slightly ajar, leads in the opposite direction. What do we get? Find access to the basement. So that is our goal. So yay, we want to go to the basement. Let's do that. Not super smart yeah, idea. Yeah, that sounds not great, um, honestly. <laughs> so we have three options. Take the stairs to the second floor, go through the double doors, or walk through the smaller door. I feel like it's going to be like chapter one where we're going to have to try to go to as many of the places as we can before we can even get to the basement. Mm -hmm. So we might as well start with the second floor. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Starting card 39. 39, huh? Oh, it's a little dark. You got some evidence. 39. Okay. The stairway leads up to a long hallway. A violet rug with tasseled edges runs the length of the hall, and strange abstract paintings line the walls. A vase of lilies sits on an ornate side table halfway down the hall. A gorgeous wooden piece of rich floral engravings or with rich floral engravings on the front and sides. Without warning, a ghostly figure comes through the door, 
up ahead on your right. It didn't take very long for ghosts right. to appear. The ghostly figure. The ghost doesn't acknowledge your presence as he rushes right through a closed door on the other side of the hall. So right to left. The hallway seems colder than when you entered. Should you follow the ghostly figure or perhaps inspect the room he came from? Optional challenge. This is an add-all challenge. Oh, okay. Search the ornate table if you are a level two or higher, add one die to your roll in addition to any challenge boosters. If we do, we draw clue 29. If we lose, we raise our danger meter by one. So should we go ahead and use this? That's what I was kind of thinking because I really want to get up to level three if possible. Yeah, because we're at five. Yeah, that's gonna, even with a plus one, we would have to roll a four better, mm -hmm. which is tough. Yeah. And I Good. don't want to lose two psychics. Scale. No. So we're going to use that? Yeah. Okay, so we decrease our danger meter by three. One, three, so now we're at four. So and we so we have, we need a three, three or better. better. So that's 50 50. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to roll on this? Time? I'm going to let you go first with this you one. Want me to roll on yes. this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think the, the mat impedes my ability. <laughs> oh, we'll see. All right. Mm, so six. Clue six. Uh, no, oh, 29. 29. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Okay, so we have a key. You open a drawer and find a book. The middle portions of its pages are cut away, and inside the hollowed area sits a glass key. Oh. Perhaps you'll find a use for this. Keep this item, move forward one space on a psychic, psychic scale, and finish story card 39. All right. So that's real cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so make the story choice below. So we can either follow the ghost or we can see where the ghost came from. I kind of vote I want to see where it came from. I agree. Okay. Because, you know, at least so there are 36. We're going to 36. So we have this premonition here of a door yeah. with a keyhole. Yes. You arrive in a large room with high ceilings and five billiard tables lined up in the center. Four of the tables are lit by exquisite lamps suspended above them. Billiard balls are neatly racked on the fifth table, which sits in the shadows as if waiting for a game to begin. A small bar stands against one wall. Atop the bar, 15 overturned crystal glasses are arranged to form a pyramid. That seems like something that klutzy me would just, like, knock into. You know. Just like, oh, no... Um, there's a weirdly small door on the far side of the room, a hobbit hole. A hobbit hole. <laughs> it seems to have been designed for a child, but you might be able to squeeze through if you tried. He's been dieting, like I said. <laughs> I think he can, I think he can do it. You hear rain pattering against a skylight window. It's nearly dusk outside, and the rain appears to have started in earnest. Premonition! Yay! Okay. If you're level two or higher on the psychic scale, draw clue 52. Oh, the rain just brought on I, these yeah. feelings. I love getting free stuff. Yes. We just we have so Ooh. Oh, another premonition. That's an explosion. Okay, I'm gonna move it over here. So we can kind of stack these up real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, explosion-y for sure. Let's see what so else we got stuff here. Going on. So we have yeah, I don't know, that's really hard to see. Mm -hmm. Very unclear. That looks like a drawer pool. Or like a door knocker. Yeah, or that's what I was saying, or like a door knocker. There's something like right there, but I can't make up what it is. Like I can't make out what that is. I don't know if we're supposed to be able to tell Yeah. I mean, it says that we can look at them as often as we want. Yeah, so it's one of those yeah. things that maybe later in time it will make more sense. It looks like some kind of furniture blew apart. Yeah. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Optional challenge, inspect the billiards table in the shadows. Um, if we win, we draw clue 33. If we lose, we raise the danger meter by one. Okay. Do we want to inspect the billiards table? The billiards table. Yeah, I'm all for all the clues. And but yeah, might as well. Do you want to roll this time? I guess. Okay, roll this time. Trust you. This one's only for fighting challenges, right. and these we don't know what the purpose is yet. These are still a mystery. Boom! Chickadee! Okay, so clue 33. Oh, 
are so psychic right now. We right? really need to be at level two. I was really happy we were at level two. Ooh, oh. it says choice. So, bonus story choice. You find a switch and the pool table turns over to reveal a strange motorized mechanism. Maybe it lowers the table down to the basement? Hmm. Place this new optional story choice at the bottom of story card 36. This option may be considered when you are ready to choose your next action. So the other option that we have is to go through this tiny door. Mm -hmm. So it's tiny door or possibly the basement. With the little mechanized Yeah, which table. I feel like there's no way it's going to the basement. You think? I don't, I feel like it. I mean, if we do end up going to the basement, we can always go out of the basement, but we have to true. raise our danger meter to do that. Okay. And there's so much other stuff I feel like that we would need to go back and get anyway. But then again, it may not even take us to the basement. It's, I mean, honestly, it's completely up to you. I, <laughs> I, I really, I really don't know. So we squeeze through the hobbit hole, or we yeah, take hobbit the hole, or mechanize billiard table down to the basement, or down somewhere. Down somewhere. It may, it might not be the basement. You're right because if it's going down, we're on the second floor. I mean, I can't imagine that it would go to the basement. But I mean, it might just go to the secret room on the first floor. It's very true. Fifty-two? Sure. Fifty-two. If you want to hop on the table, <laughs> we're going to hop on the table. With the magic carpet pad. Fifty-two. Okay. Where, where, where are we at? Okay. You climb onto the table and wait to descend. Something's wrong. You begin to go oh. up instead of down. Oh! <laughs> You rise rapidly and crash through the skylight. Glass shatters all around you. You said magic carpet ride. You got what you asked. I guess I did. Oh, man. The lift keeps going up until you're almost two full stories above the house. The rain is falling so heavily that you're quickly soaked and dark clouds roil on the horizon around you. If he's about to get struck by lightning. This seems like a bad choice. Or like some crazy bird is gonna swoop in. I don't know. <gasps> You see lightning strike in the oh, distance, no. and you're filled with horror as you realize you are now on a towering metal pillar in the middle of a thunderstorm. This is a giant lightning rod. Lightning strikes the Don't. hydraulic lift, and you feel a searing flash of heat as millions of volts pulsate through your body. No. The shock forces you to let go of the pole, and before you hit the ground, you black out forever. We died so early last time, and we died again this time. I think even earlier this time. The end. Move back one space on the psychic scale. Well, so I guess we're going through the Hobbit hole, yeah. which is 44. Jeez. Oh, man. But look That's, at the artwork, That though. is so, so crafty. Good. They're like, surely it goes down. Lies. We can't, we can't trust anything in this game. Which one did you say? 33. 44. 44. Um, <laughs> oddly, an 11 me dyslexic. <laughs> Man, that's stinky. Okay. That is stinky. <sighs> we die every time. I know. <laughs> At least once per uh -huh. chapter. Okay, yep. It's definitely a child's playroom. So entering a child's playroom, you find a giant overstuffed toy box resting against one wall. I thought I was going to say like a giant stuffed animal. I'm going to be like, no! Yeah, something inside Like those it. videos of those people that are hiding in those yes. giant like stuffed animal things. No, 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 no. no guaranteed no. to punch your lights out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and in the middle of the room stands a dollhouse. That's not creepy, which appears to be a perfect replica of the Marsden house. Oh, burn it. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen Annabelle. I know what happens oh, with those. Burn it down. As you approach the dollhouse, you notice that the walls of the playroom are covered with shelves full of porcelain dolls. I don't like this. I don't like that at all. Their eyes peering down at you. It's difficult to break their gaze. The oh. eyes seem to draw you into the blackness of their dead stares. Not looking away, you feel, you feel yourself shrinking smaller and smaller. Soon, the dolls seem to loom over you, even more frightening than before, although they never move from their perches. Eventually, you're the size of a doll yourself, and you stand on the playroom floor beside the replica of the Marsden house. From where you stand, you can see the front door of the dollhouse. Oh, this is freaky artwork. Enter the door of the dollhouse by going to story card 49, and that is our only choice. Oh and my look at that. God. 
So it shrunk him down? Yeah, like he walked through a little hobbit hole. What is and I this guess he voodoo? entered some parallel universe and it just like shrunk him down like Alice in Wonderland. And now he's going to go into the replica dollhouse version of the Marsden house, which is so real disturbing. creepy. Super disturbing. So uh, what happens now, Amanda? Well, <laughs> funny you should ask. The dollhouse entryway has doorways leading to a dining room, a parlor, and a bedroom. Before you can think about where you should go next, something distracts you. There's a force at work here, a present presence you can't ignore. No, duh, you were just shrunk down into the size of a doll. Something, or someone, seems to be calling you, drawing you, drawing you onward. We don't trust drawing things anymore. Not after, not after the ape. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Mm -mm. You can tell. This dollhouse is a hub of psychic energy, a, oh. nexus, a nexus of weird power. Okay. You'll need to stay sharp. Okay, okay. So there's some images of doors. Okay. If you go to the dollhouse dining room, go to Starry Park 35, so we can go to the dollhouse dining room, dollhouse parlor, or the dollhouse bedroom. You wanna roll with that? Sure. So what's the first option? Dining room. That's gonna be one to two, mm -hmm. and then what's the second option? Dollhouse parlor. Three, four, and then the bedroom, bedroom. is four, five, or five, five six. six. Yeah. Okay. Bedroom okay. it is. Story card forty-one. I'm not liking this. We oh. need to get back to real size Ooh, real fast. This is creepy. We need to start really looking at the pictures now. Oh, I feel like. yeah. Okay, so the dollhouse bedroom is filled with miniature furnishings which are now full size to you. No, duh, because you're tiny. <laughs> a cozy chair, a dresser, a lamp, and a bed. Lying in the bed is a, its head on a pillow is a stuffed mouse. Hmm. It's so lifelike. It's gonna be real, and it's gonna try to eat him. You catch yourself thinking you would step quietly so you don't wake it up. Your psychic senses start to pulse. You now, you get a feeling something very important is heading in this room. We are not a level three. We are so close, so we don't get to draw this clue. <laughs> if you go to the dollhouse dining room, oh no! So we need to see if we can go back here at some point mm -hmm. as, a, as a level three. Because that's it. We just leave. Like, we look, we feel like there's something important, uh, but we're not psychic enough. Okay. So, so we have to go. Boo. So the dining room or the dollhouse parlor? The parlor. The parlor. 57. Man, that's, that's kind of janky. Oh, that's such a bummer. So we need to be a psychic level three for that. Yeah. If we come back though. A piano takes up one corner of the dollhouse parlor. A doll sits on the piano bench wearing a crown and a rich red gown, hands poised above the keys. It's a Oh, elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know the proper pageant way. Grant taught me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the doll queen. Because every doll queen has one. Queen of the one. dolls. <laughs> and even though her back is turned, you feel as though she's daring you to face her in some kind of bizarre piano contest of the mind. I don't, that, that I, is weird. I, I don't know what that, that means. <laughs> Besides the fact that it's creepy. I mean. Yeah. Perhaps accepting the queen's unusual challenge and defeating her will increase your psychic skills. Okay, so we need to challenge her to a mental piano playing contest? Okay, let's continue. Let's. I mean, as I mean we need to guess. increase our skills because if we can get two more, we go then we're in three. So, yeah. like, we're real close. You notice a painting above the piano. It depicts a solarium and is so spellbindingly realistic. <laughs> oh no. You can't help but reach out your hand to touch it. You are amazed when your hand disappears into the painting and you can touch the solarium on the other side. This painting is a magical portal and it might be your only way out of this dollhouse. Optional challenge battle the doll queen in a psychic piano duel. <laughs> psychic piano duel. If Those we win, we get a clue. If we lose, we raise our danger meter by three and may try again. I'm pretty sure that if we win, we get, also we get to increase our psychic abilities. So I kind of want to do it. Okay. I kind of want to do it. You roll. So what kind of challenge is it? Perception. Perception. Mm -hmm. And we don't have any of those. We need the bear. I know. <sighs> okay. 
three. Is that like the raise it by? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> if you couldn't see, that's a one. One, two, three. Well, we're still out of five. Can we do it again? Yeah, we can do it again. And then we would have to go down two. And even if we... But, I mean, honestly, it's going to be real tough to stay at a five anyway. Unless we can find something else that's going to lower, lower our danger. So, my, my concern is that we'll have to lose two. We'll be down to seven. And even if we win this and we get more perception, we won't make it over into three, you know? We're on nine. Nine. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand that. But we're going to have to lower our danger meter at some point anyway. I mean, it's going to have to happen. That's very true. I mean, we're going to have to do it at some point. Because we're not going to be able to maintain a five. Like, we're no, just not going to be able to maintain no, a five. we won't be able to get anything at some I point. I mean, I might get a five. It's possible. Yeah. But at some point, we're going to lower it. We're no going to have what. to lower it yeah, no matter what. Well, let's just do it. Let's try again. Okay, you want me to roll again? Mm, oh, okay. You know. Pressure. I don't have a lot of faith in anyone's die roll these days. Five. Okay. Okay, so what clue? 30. Come on, psychic stuff. Because, yeah, it's two spaces. So, we're good. We're at three now. All right. Okay, the queen's hands don't move, but you hear her incredible piano playing swirl through the parlor as fast as the wind. Now it's your turn. It's like the don't look down to Georgia, but like, like <laughs> the piano and all in your head. Um, reaching out to the piano with your brain... You weave notes into an intricate, manic waltz, even faster and more beautiful than the queen. Your music dances throughout the room. The queen's crown falls to the floor. You bested her. You win. Keep this card. Move forward two spaces on the psychic scale and finish your story on 57. So what are our options on that? Can we go, can we go back to where we were? Yes. So if we go to the dollhouse bedroom, we draw story card 41, which we already have in here. Mm -hmm. Which actually is just this one, isn't it? Yes, it's that one. So, yeah. free action. Yeah, we're just going to go back to this one. Mm -hmm. So, 50. Because I feel like if we need psychic energy to do it, I feel like it's, it's important. Really good. Oh, yeah. Marsden family ring. Oh, yeah. That's that important. seems important. <laughs> you sneeze. Awaking the mouse. Oh, no. That scurries away. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. In the bed, you see it was sleeping on top of the Marsden family ring. It is a... It is in your tiny state. It's as big as a truck tire. You must roll it to move, um, to move it. Your psychic senses tell you that this is important. Keep this item. Move forward one space on the psychic scale, awesome. and finish story card forty-one. So that's this one. Yes. So essentially, we. Do you want to go to the dining room now, and go back to the parlor later because we haven't yeah. been to the dining room. Yeah. So it's thirty-five. Um. Yes. Thirty-five. Okay. Oh, I didn't get to see the creepy doll queen. Yeah. Apparently she wasn't very good at being a pianist. Some mm. guy with no talent bested her with his psychic abilities. 35? Yes. 35 is the dining room. Uh oh. I think this is the king. Oh no. <laughs> He's mad. Seated at the head of the dollhouse dining table is a doll wearing a crown. It's the doll king. With oddly compelling glass eyes, they sparkle with a kind of dark power. As you look into those eyes, you sense a strange or you sense a strange tingle in your mind. Oh god, I better mind you. This doll is reaching out to you mentally. You don't know why, but you feel like he wants to fight you. Um. On the plane of pure thought, you sense this could help you strengthen your psychic abilities. Around the dining room table, two doors lead to other rooms inside the dollhouse. Okay, so we could find him and get clue 56. If we lose, we raise our, raise our danger meter by three. Or we can just go back to the parlor and leave. I have a feeling it's going to increase our psychic ability. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds important. It literally said... I mean, if we lose three... If we, you lose two, though, we're still at the precipice of level two. If we lose... Yeah. I mean, the precipice of level three. three. Yeah. So we're real close to level three if we, we, can get if it we back. lose now. Yeah. Okay, you roll this time. Okie dokie. Because I've I've used <laughs> oh, 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 we're just we're just living on the edge. Okay, anyway. That's we don't own that copyright. So 
Sorry, Aerosmith. Don't come after us. Don't come after us. We're just we're just some some lonesome people. Okay. Uh, oh, this last one. You project your thoughts at the little king like light through a magnifying glass. You focus on the doll's mind, narrowing your thoughts into a tight beam. Oh goodness. Finally, when you can hardly take any more, the doll blinks. You won. You were in a mental a staring, staring contest with a doll. <laughs> Keep this card. Move forward. Two spaces on a psychic scale. Yes, Yo. King. Yes, King. Oh. What? That was a fun lady. <laughs> so, obviously, we're going to go back to the parlor. Yeah. So, story card for D7, which is that one. Yes. And then we're going to go to the solarium. Because that's really the only way that we can leave. Because this keeps looping back around. That's the only way that well, we can. So, it says 57, right? Yeah, 57. So, if you have clue 50 and you want to go to the magical portal... Which is the solarium, right? Yes. So okay. clue 50 is the ring. Okay, so draw clue 47. Oh, so wait. So it says if we have clue 50, we get to draw clue 47? Yeah. I didn't even know that. That was real good to go back then. <laughs> You'll have to use all your might to throw the ring through the portal before jumping through to the other side. Because he's so teeny. So wait, what if you weren't, like, what if you were a psychic level, psychic level one? Like, because you had to be a three to get that ring. It said if you do not have clue 50 and you want to enter the magical draw clue 55 so it would have given you something something else to do okay Mm -hmm. you'll have to use all your mind to throw the ring through the portal before jumping through to the other side where you sense the portal's magic will surely return you to normal size sure we have to use a strength challenge so it's not this this is a fighting so you have to use a strength um throw the ring through the portal (laughs) all your tiny doll might yes we win we lower the danger meter by two and draw clue 55 if we lose, we range our danger meter by one and try again. So, am I rolling this time? Or are we just taking turns back and forth? Might as well. Either way, we'll still be in level three. I know, but it'd be nice if we could lower it. I know. I mean, if we lower it by two, we're still a five, though. It's not reality. We're yeah. just. Yeah. That's cocked. Oh. I have to re roll. Oh, no. I have to re- try to aim this way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> two. Forward to mm, down to oh no on the no. danger meter we go down ah, okay fifty five okay so yeah Sink to the portal a pins and needles sensation spreads over your body as you travel the dimensional pathway when you reach the other side you're standing in the solarium you saw in the picture you've returned to normal size so it said that we would have if we didn't have the ring we would have used fifty five. Mm-hmm. That's 55. If you do not have so 50 and you we would have just the... left without having the ring. Oh, so we still get the ring, I guess. We still get to keep it. It doesn't say discard it. No. So we would have just left without having it. Okay, fair enough. At least that makes sense. 48, ma'am. 48. Mm-hmm. 48. So I was like, wait, what? <laughs> That's amazing. Once you've entered the solarium, you notice how the glass panes are in angular shapes that create a spiderweb pattern across the ceiling. I don't like that. At least mm. he's normal size again. Yeah, yeah, Cause. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just weird how he went from like third dimension or fourth dimension, like tiny house, and then through a painting. Yeah. So is he still in the painting, or is he like no? Like I, he was in the salon and think, then real house now. I think he's in okay. a real house now. And it's just the portal from the yeah. real house to another room. Okay, that's weird. Because what if those dolls are real dolls? That's like the. We also don't own that, so <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's like the X Files. Oh, I don't. After. I've never watched the X Files. When I was really, really young. That's probably not a good idea. No. Um, I mean, I saw just like a handful of episodes. I don't remember anything other than being freaked out. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So. I got freaked out by Goosebumps when I was a kid. Oh, which is I kind of like what this reminds me of. So Never wanted to read them. Never wanted to watch any of it. Dude. Too so the scary. one that I remember the most, I don't know if it was the movie or if it was one of the ones from the show, but it was one they used to always play around Halloween where the kid went to the magic store or the, like the costume store got a mask and then like a mask got like stuck to his face. That stuff is so scary to me. <laughs> and I was like... It's like um, Halloween Town too, oh. and they couldn't take their masks off. Yes, it was like I, that. Like it was like I was watching it. And I felt like I was suffocating. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Solarium. 
We digress. Okay. The, <laughs> there are clay pots with exotic plants on every flat surface. Mm-hmm. Welcome, you hear a female voice oh, say. Oh, no. We are so glad you found your way here. Oh, I don't like the we. The we is scary. An elderly woman mm-hmm. in a long black dress mm-hmm. and white apron from the back of the picture. <gasps> You're right. You're right. We saw her. We saw her in our minds before we entered the house. She glides into view from behind a wall. She appears to be the housekeeper. She raises one finger and curls it toward her, beckoning you. We've been expecting you. Come this way, she says. I don't want to. Something in her voice makes you freeze. (laughs) This might be trouble. (laughs) You notice something shiny tucked behind a tropical shrub, but you'll probably have to deal with the housekeeper before you can investigate it. Oh. You glimpse an art gallery behind the solarium. Oh, there, there she is on her creepy wall. Yep, that's totally, that's totally it that we saw for realsies. Oh, yeah, and it had the spider web yep. things. Yep. Oh, yep. All right, there we go. Mm-hmm. Optional challenge, and it's a perception challenge. Okay. Attempt to excuse yourself. <laughs> if you are level two or higher on the psychic scale, add one... Die. Die. Okay. To your role. Okay. In addition to any challenge booster for perception. We don't have a perception challenge. No. If we win, we get clue 39. If we lose, we get clue 53. If we do not take the challenge, we continue below. So we need a four better. Yes. 75. Yeah. You want to just do that? It doesn't say Maybe we have a raise. 25 percent we don't raise the danger. Yeah, no. yeah. We just don't know what's going to happen. She might be like, "No," and then she might like grab us. It's very true. Because clue fifty three is probably one of those little okay extra. I just say do it, man. I mean, okay. something shiny. I'm like, it's shiny. Okay. I, I, oh my gosh, Amanda! No. Mm. Which know. which one? Fifty three. It's at the bottom. The woman doesn't care what you say. She doesn't bother responding, but her lips curl into a cruel smile. Go to story card 55. Yeah, okay, so... Go to story card 55. Yeah. Is that following her? It's ignore her and leave the Okay, so we still have to go. So maybe we can come (laughs) back. Probably not. Ignore her. We just ticked her off. Yeah, I mean, but the good thing is, it's the same as if we did nothing at all. So it's, a, I mean, it's, you know what I mean? Okay. You start to leave, but the woman senses your fear. Oh. She smiles again and then begins to fade. You can see right through her now. Her shadowy shape wavers and shifts, billowing like a hazy cloud. In seconds, she has taken on a new form, a Union General. What? He has a heavy whip Is in this one Mr. hand. Marston? He has a heavy whip in one hand, and his other hand is clenched into a fist. Oh, okay. The plants around the room grow and become ten feet tall. Even in the darkness, you can tell that they are Venus flytraps. But at the size, they won't be content with flies. The general has a crazed look in his eyes, as though he's suffering from a sudden fit of rage. (laughs) You think you can challenge the authority of Henry Marsden? I knew it. (laughs) He shouts. He snaps his whip at the floor three times, and all the giant Venus flytraps move towards you. Did we die? With every shred of his ghostly power, Marsden snaps the whip at your feet. The force of the violent crack is mighty. It sends you flailing backwards directly into the maw of one of those hungry plants. The Venus flytrap takes three quick bites and one slow gulp. You no longer exist. Move back one space on the second scale and return to card 48. So we have to win this. Yeah. We have to. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Well, we're still a psychic level two or higher. I love how they said it was optional. <laughs> yeah, we have to win this. <laughs> like we we have to. Yeah. We don't have we're an option. Thirty nine. Yeah. So we, we just keep going. Yeah. Well, we have to. I'm pretty sure we would go get fifty three. Go back to here. 
die again. Yep. Move one, lose one Are on the serious? psychic scale. Uh, I'm. I mean, it it makes a loop, man. A that's loop. So not cool. I rolled a three, and we need a four better. So we go back again. Okay, okay. there we go this time. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thirty nine. I'm sick of this crazy woman. So yeah, we're just like stuck in this continuous loop of mess. Yeah, they just wanted to lose our psychic meter. Large metal rod. You calmly explain to the woman that you'd rather not go with her, and she returns to tending her plants. The crazy, dangerous murder plants. You grab the shiny object before leaving and find that it's warm to the touch. Mm. Your psychic senses tell you this is an important item. Okay. You slip away to the art gallery. Keep this item. Move forward three spaces on the psychic scale. Okay, well, we... we we're back to where we were. Back to where we were. <laughs> and we're on the precipice of four. Go to story card 32. Okay. Oh, wait, we keep this. Oh, we keep that. Yes, yeah. you're right. That looks like a lightsaber or something. That's it has what like I a plug too. on the end. It's like a little handle for a lightsaber. Yeah, it has like a plug on the end of it. Stepping into the marble floored art gallery, you are amazed by more than a hundred gold framed paintings, plus countless abstract modern sculptures on pedestals. Wow. The entire collection must be worth gazillions. Gazillions? That's his professional opinion. <laughs> He's obviously <sighs> not an art person. No. An art consultant. He's probably worth zero dollars. <laughs> Too bad you've got no time to admire any of it. You're eager to keep moving. French doors lead to the study and a doorway leads outside. You can see a pathway leading to an attached structure that appears to be a mother-in-law apartment. Okay. 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 Premonition. Ooh. You're a level two or higher. Draw clue 54. Ooh. I like I like being really psychic. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, it's a safe. Okay. It's a it's safe. It's not like a hint. No, that's not gonna be a hint. It's like a safe okay. of some sort. I feel like this was this on the photo? Like on the back? Maybe. So, we can either walk through the French doors to the study or take the path outside to the mother-in-law apartment. Card 33 or card 46. I mean, I honestly, I don't. I D, I D K. I mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> really. So, uh, uh, roll a die. Sure. 50-50. Yeah. Shot. So, um, what? One what? through three for the French doors and four through six for the apartment. Three. Okay. French doors, French doors is card 33. Okay, once inside the study, you are shocked to find 12 pairs of eyes staring at you oh, God, we're about to in <laughs> outrage. You stop dead in your tracks. There are do a dozen shady looking people all stuffing briefcases with bundles full of cold, hard cash. Oh, Literally, they're taking money out of ice-filled coolers. So literally, frozen money. You take another step, but all but one of the guys take off, suddenly spooked. The last one turns and glares at you. Since he's still holding his briefcase tightly with both hands, you're pretty sure you can take him. <laughs> you see a hallway on the other side of the room that might serve to be a quick exit. Optional challenge. This is a fight, and we get a plus two with our swords. Do it. Wrestle the man with the cash-filled briefcase. Draw clue 38. If we lose, we raise your danger meter by three. Yay. So we get a plus two. Uh-huh. If we roll a one, we lose it. But we get a plus two. Okay. I feel... Okay. 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 So we need a three or better. Uh-huh. Five. Right. We don't even need it. We don't even need the sword. We're just like so amped up from that Venus flytrap brouhaha. <laughs> so 38. Or no, we clue 38. Clue 38. We fought him, we get the money. Briefcase full of money. Yeah. I don't know if this has anything to do with the safe or not, but yeah. maybe. Wasn't there a big ice cube on this? There was a big ice cube. Oh, well, we thought it was an ice cube. We oh, weren't really yeah. sure if it was an ice cube. You are currently holding a briefcase that contains more money than Sergeant Morrison and Detective Murphy earned in two years. I love that that's part of the story. Your psychic senses tell you this is an important item. 
Keep this item. Move forward one space on the Woo! psychic scale. We're on level four. And finish story card 33. Okay, so 33 says that if we lost, we would have just head down the hallway. So we get clue 45. Okay. Is what it says. I'm not sure where to check. Okay, we can go over here. Maybe. 45. Okay, so we got a room. Okay, 45. You race down the hallway past photographs and painting paintings of an old prison. Remember, he was a warden. You reach the end of the hall and find a metal door. Go to story card 60. Oh, boy. Stuff's really happening. We took that briefcase. Chapter 2 goal achieved. Really? We got to the basement? Apparently so. Wow, we have to have a lot of stuff. You shove the metal door open. When you close it behind you, clang. It sounds like the door to a jail cell slamming shut. That doesn't bode well. You turn to check out where you are. There's an elevator. You get in, press the closed door button, and finally get a moment to catch your breath. <laughs> close, 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 close. Before that creaky maid lady comes out after you. You can't believe what you've been through so far, but this elevator should be your ticket to the basement. And that should bring you one step closer to uncovering the mystery of the sounds you heard when you first entered the Marsden house. I'm being kind of selfish. We don't, I mean, we have a lot of stuff, but I want more stuff. Yeah, we can look at all that. Well, and there's so many things there. The, yeah. I mean, I don't know if they're all, they're probably all not good, but still. Yeah. I feel like there's a couple places that maybe didn't go. We didn't go to the place where the ghost went oh, uh, that's upstairs. Right. And there was also some stuff downstairs where we could have started that we didn't do. That's true. Now that you know where the elevator is, you wonder if, should, if you should go back to the if you should go to the basement now, or go back and investigate anything you might have missed. Yeah, we're gonna have to do danger with that. Story return. Yeah. Uh, there are items in this chapter that will be useful later in the story. You can yeah. take a risk and go back for any you missed by following the choices below. If you go upstairs, if you go to the upstairs hallway, raise your danger meter by two. And go to card thirty nine. You go to the main dining room, raise your danger meter by two, and go to card 51. We didn't go to the dining room. Correct. If you go to the solarium, which we've already been to, um, so, and then if you go to the gallery, which we went. So we have the dining room, which we haven't been to at all. Yeah. Or we have upstairs, upstairs with hallway. that door that the ghost went right. into. Because we went to where he came from. Yes. We still haven't used any of these special items yet. No. But I think we don't need to until things get. Crazy. Mm -hmm. It just says keep all inventory items. Oh yeah. Chapter three. I mean, it's up to you. What do you think? We're gonna, it's gonna be too dangerous either way. Do you? Do you have a preference? I mean, I think we should go to the dining room first because we haven't been there at all. Okay. Okay, so fifty-one. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. You enter a formal dining room decorated in a modern style, like the whole house. Sure. The walls are a deep, moody gray. Oh, my favorite color. Mm -hmm. And the table has chairs are lacquer, or the table and chairs are lacquered glossy black. A glass vase containing limp, long dead flowers sits in the center of the table. Around the table sit four men. Their skin and uniforms are all shades of shimmering white and blue, and a wispy aura wafts off of them like smoke. They're dressed in Civil War era Union soldier uniforms and talking as if telling stories around a campfire. One has his feet propped up on the table. They don't seem to be aware of their presence. You notice a wooden door that is rattling as if something behind it is trying to escape. Beams of blue light shoot out of the keyhole. Okay. That's that. Yeah. That's totally blue light. Yeah. Shoot out of the keyhole in the wooden slats of the door. There are also a narrow swinging door at the end of the dining room that probably leads to the kitchen. Free action. If you're a level two or higher on the psychic scale, if you want to go closer and listen to their stories, we can draw 48. Or we can open the wood door, or we can sneak past them to the kitchen. What do you want to do? Yeah, I said you go for 48. It's I mean, a free thing, right? Well, it could be bad, but I mean, we have to be a psych yeah. psychic scale two or higher, and normally that means it's a decent thing. But, I mean, they could just be like, ha-ha, you sucker. <laughs> 48. 48, yes. What does it say? You creep closer and overhear bits and pieces of conversation. Okay. One ghost mentions barely surviving a savage attack and locking the dangerous one 
in the secret passage between the kitchen and the master bedroom. Finish story card 50. Okay, so between the kitchen and the master bedroom, there's something dangerous. And the kitchen yes. is where we can go to with 54. I say we go to the blue light because we saw a premonition of yes, the blue light. It seems So that's important. 37. I'm pretty sure we can always go back to the kitchen. You open the rattling door to reveal an impossibly long passage, slightly lit with small beams of blue light. That sounds like a secret passage. A chill runs through your veins. <laughs> that sounds not good. As an apparition materializes in the distance. The ghost wears a tattered robe, and his skin appears badly burned. Oh. Oh, no. One of his eyes is missing. Oh, no. While the other darts around nervously. He walks straight toward you, brandishing a sword in one hand. Oh, no. You try to run, but your legs refuse to cooperate. You're frozen in place. Oh, no. The spirit continues to approach you. He advances calmly, slowly moving closer and closer until he's finally upon you. You feel intense pain, and then nothing. <gasps> we died? We died. For a third time. That is terrifying. Oh. But we got a premonition. I it was not a good thing. So I guess not all premonitions are. So we go back to yeah. move one. That we we're back to three. We worked so hard. Drat. So kitchen it is fifty four, ma'am. Okay, so this I'm thinking premonitions are bad because that looks bad. That could be bad. I don't know. Part of me thinking premonitions are bad. The kitchen looks a bit drab compared to what you've seen in the rest of the house. A large blue refrigerator stands lonely against one wall, a heavy chain wrapped around it, holding it closed. Someone have an eating problem? Don't open it. <laughs> the opposite wall is dominated by tall cupboards. Black and white checkered tile covers the countertops and floors. It's very 1950s kitchen. Yeah. And a butcher's block on the counter is stained a deep crimson from heavy use. Bodes very well. Seems very, yeah. Also, clean your stuff. <laughs> Sanitize. Yeah. On the far side of the room, there's a small door that appears to lead to a wine cellar. Mm -hmm. Optional challenge: search the cupboards. It's a perception challenge. If we win, we draw clue thirty-four. Optional challenge: try to open the fridge. That's a strength challenge. If we win, we draw clue forty-nine. If we lose either of them, we raise our danger meter by one. Which, I mean, we're still a psychic level three, which is the highest we've needed to be for this chapter. Yeah. So I feel like, I feel like we should search the cupboards first. The fridge is locked and yeah. not good. I'm pretty sure that's the dangerous one that they were talking about. Pretty sure we just shouldn't have gone there. The dangerous one is in the secret passage between the kitchen and the master. So that was the secret passage. Yeah, that was Secret Passage. I where we just got murdered. And we just we don't have very good mental layout of the house. So do we want to try this perception challenge? Sure. So we need <laughs> Okay, so we raise it by one. So now we miss six. So I mean let's try again. Oh, it doesn't say try again. So, we might as well try the next one. Yeah. We raise up by two. I mean, we raise up by one. It is what it is. Yeah. And that's a strength, so it's not going to matter. It's cocked. <laughs> nope. Okay. So, we go back here, and that goes down to, and we just need to go to the wine cellar in 56. Hopefully, we can go back to the kitchen, maybe, and get those. I mean, I'm not so concerned about the fridge. I don't think I want to know if it's locked behind a fridge. That seems not very good. It doesn't seem like a good idea. Unless there's something very, very important in there. I don't know. The door to the wine cellar is covered with a leather overlay that is embossed with grapevine patterns. Someone here must really like their wine. Well, they have a cellar. I mean... Yeah, I would assume that people who yeah. have wine cellars like wine. Like wine. You push open the door into a pitch black room and hear odd noises coming from the unseen machine in the distance. This space might be bigger than you thought. As you try to find a light switch, you discover a ladder on your left and a door to your right. As your eyes adjust to the darkness, you can make out a bomb shelter sticker mm. on the door and a small storage compartment next to the shelter door about as tall as your knee. Free action. If you'd like to get down on your hands and knees and root around in the storage
storage compartment. Drop the 35. That looks bomb. I'd say no. I'm starting to learn from our premonitions. It says bomb shelter. That's an explosion. I. So. The storage compartment is next to the shelter door. But it has a bomb symbol on it, right? Okay. I mean, it's up to you. I, I feel like, I mean, bomb is bad. Yeah, I mean, that's an explosion, and I'm just trying to learn from our mistakes. Well, so here, below the free action, our choices for the car. You can climb up the ladder or go to the bomb shelter. We'll just avoid the bomb shelter. So I think this is just something different because it's the storage compartment next to the bomb shelter. Yeah, we can look at it if you want, and then maybe that'll determine what we do. Okay. I'm, I'm for it. 35? Yeah. Hopefully we don't get messed over. Climbing boots. Hey, remember how I said last time? Uh -huh. Man, we need some climbing boots. Doing lots of climbing here. Look at these things. You'll be able to climb like a squirrel wearing these boots. <laughs> Keep this story card finished, 56. Okay, well now, I mean, yeah, I don't, do you think that the bomb shelter, maybe that's not a bomb. No, I, th I think that's a bomb shelter because our other option is climb up the ladder. So climb up so the ladder. I, I say to climb up the ladder. So 40? Include 40. Okay. You climb the ladder into the darkness. The, temp the temperature warms as you leave the wine cellar, but as you descend the narrow shaft for what must be several minutes, you feel the temperature grow colder again. Every 10 rungs or so, you could be, you could be going in circles vertically. No, you're pretty sure the laws of physics don't work that way. <laughs> Finally, the ladder ends. You open a door in front of you and jump out into the, a room. Story card 36. Did we already go to 36? Maybe. Yep. You arrive in a large room with high ceilings. That's the billiard room. Ah. And the only thing that... No! The only thing that we can do is go into the freaking store, then go into the dollhouse again. Did we really just get thrown into a circle? Please don't tell me we got thrown into a circle. I feel like as we go, I just need to like make room. This is 52, lists. right? Yeah, this is 52. We got thrown into a circle. I wanted to go upstairs, but not to there. Mm -hmm. So we, we go into the billiard room again, where the ghost came from. Mm -hmm. And our only option is to go to story card 44, mm -hmm. which is the child's playroom, mm -hmm. where we already were. We have to go to story card 49, because we shrunk. Mm -hmm. and we're back in the house. And we're back to the house. We have to go to the parlor, which is 57. We have clue 50, and we want to enter the portal, mm -hmm. so we have to go to clue 47, which is in, here. in there. We just went in a big circle. The only way that we're going to be able to get back to upstairs is to go through the base, go to the basement again. I don't think that there's another way for us to get there. We're going to go in a ginormous not. circle. We have to do a required challenge to throw the ring through the portal. Yeah, we do. We don't have an option. But we're three now, yeah. so. What is it? So, throw the ring through the portal, win, lower the danger meter by two, and drop clue 55. Lose, lose danger meter by one, and try it again. Okay, so it's not that easy. Well, and did it. Okay, so we lower the danger meter by two? Yep. Okay, well, that's fine. That's okay, that's sure. That's fine. Um, now we go where? Uh, clue 55, 55, which is also, it should be like the next card. Take a deep breath, jump into the portal, continue the sensation spreads over your body as you travel a dimensional pathway. Card 55? Uh, 48. 48? Okay, so that's the solarium. Uh -huh. We know that we have to do the thing. Yeah. We're level two or higher, we add one. We have to do it, even though we already got it, which kind of sucks. Yeah. This, this is kind of a broken part of this game, I feel like, is that now we've gone into this ginormous circle and we, there's no option for us to go anywhere else. Yeah, I mean, we've already gotten the things that's yeah. gonna make us fight so to get to them. So, you need to roll, well, great. Cool. Okay, so we would get clue 39, which we already have, because it's yes. this large metal rod, and then we slip away to the gallery, which is 32, which is here, 
is the gallery, which is great. Okay, so we can go to the mother-in-law apartment. Oh, okay, yeah. Because we already went to the study. Yep. So 46. Finally, <laughs> we went through this huge loop of stuff. For nothing. Which is a little frustrating. So. You take the pathway to a... No one appears to be home. You try the door and find that it's open. You enter a room that's entirely dark except for one candlelit corner mm. where you see a leather desk chair turned away from you with someone sitting in it. Oh, I was like, oh, key, okay. and then I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the chair slowly swivels. Oh, this is very like, oh, God, what's that base motel oh, like? Oh, gosh. This isn't good. Oh, no, I don't like it. No, this isn't good. You know why? <laughs> The chair slowly swivels to reveal a chimpanzee. No! Wearing a chimpanzee? monocle. No, this is that's the totally one that was like shame. Yes. Wearing a monocle and holding a ballpoint pen, looking you square in the eye. Uh-oh. Looks like you interrupted his work. The chimp calmly places the pen on the desk and removes his monocle. Such a polite chimp. He cracks his knuckles. Oh no. And stands up. It's go time. Oh no. And this chimp is going for you. The chimp pounces. Required challenge. Fight the chimp. Is it so it's a fighting rent, right? Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Win. Okay. Lower danger meter by five, which we don't even need to five? do. Five? Which we don't even need to do right five? now. Five? Yep. We could have used that a long time ago. Ooh, we should have used that a long time ago. Lose, raise the danger meter by three. Are we using this? Because if we lose use this and we get a one, we lose it. Then no. I say we don't use it. I don't. Mm -hmm. I worry. We're gonna need it later. We didn't even need it, yo. After the fight, the chimp scurries away. <laughs> Stupid chimp. You notice to your left there is a large metal door, which looks completely out of place here. There's also a walkway leading toward what looks like the study in the main house. If you open the metal door, go to story card 60, which I think is the one in the room. And if you take the walkway to the city, go to story card 33. So do you think that this is the metal door? Does this says, this looks like a safe. Looks completely out of place here. It does look like a safe, but it might not be. <laughs> it might be a large metal door. Back. I don't know what to do. So if it's that, or we go back to the study. Well, it says go to story card sixty. Haven't we been on to sixty before? Is that the yes, end? that's the end. That's the end. So, oh, the door is sixty. Yeah, the metal oh, door. Oh, I feel is like 60. that was kind of cheaty. But yeah, that would be the metal door. And I thought the metal door sounded familiar. So we could go there uh -huh. and then go back to the upstairs. But then raise our danger meter by two. But we raise our danger meter by two, which I'm not really worried about at this point because we're at the absolute lowest that we can be anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. So let's do that. So we need to go two up on the danger meter, and we're going to go upstairs again, mm -hmm. which is 39, which we've already been to. Yes. Okay. And now we're going to follow the ghost. Right. 59. So many more cards there. I know. I was this that bigger than chapter one? I don't know. Maybe. So we haven't really gotten that much this chapter. We well, I guess so. We've gotten one, two, three, four, five things this chapter. Well, and then six, six seven, seven, if you include the premonitions. Yeah. So yeah, not nothing. Well, and then. So that makes me feel like this is totally a safe then. If that metal door was the basement. Right. Okay. You enter an extravagantly decorated master bedroom. Mm -hmm. A dressing table with a fancy mirror sits against one wall across from a canopy bed covered in burgundy silk. The ghost of a Union general sits on the bed, facing away from you. Was that Henry Marston? Probably. <laughs> As the floor creaks beneath your step, the ghostly figure turns and leaps to his feet. He has a fearsome scowl on his face and an empty scabbard on his belt. Huh? Huh? We have huh. his saber. Uh -uh. Coward, traitor, thief, he yells as he approaches. There's an open door on the far side of the room through which you glimpse a bathroom with dark green tiles. 
You could also retreat back into the hallway to escape the Phantom's wrath. Okay. Free action. If you have clue two, we do. you may attempt to give it to the ghost. Ooh. To do so, discard it and draw clue 32. Ooh. If you do not have clue two, continue below. And it's an optional challenge to fight the ghost. So do we want to fight the ghost or do we want to try to make nice with the ghost? I mean, say we give him his saber, what's to stop him from just ramming it through our heart? <laughs> So you want to try to fight the ghost? I have no idea. I mean, honestly, we could fight the... I feel like we could fight the ghost. We could fight the ghost. So, I mean, it's it's a difference between drawing clue 32 and, or clue 51. What does so, it say if we lose? If we lose, raise the danger meter by two. Okay. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm down for fighting him if we'd rather fight him. We can add two to our die roll if we yeah, need it. Yeah, if we want to use it. Well, we have to use it. It's just if we lose a, use a one, we lose it. Right. We're one, we lose it. Do you want to fight him? I mean, we're kind of, I'm, I mean, I'm cool with it. I mean, you're right. I mean, what would happen if we gave him his saber? I mean, we've, he's already proven. If it is Henry Marsden, mm -hmm. which it came from his statue. Right. So I would think that it is. Right. If it is Henry Marsden, when that lady turned into him, he was not a nice guy. He was unforgiving. And he already kind of had some Venus fly traps sticked on us, so I would rather kill him. True that. You want to roll? Are we using this? I don't want to. Okay. We're at a three. I feel like we should be able to be okay. We can't try it again. We have to decide now. Okay, we're gonna stop rolling, like shuffling until we decide. I don't know. Just yes or no. Because once we yeah, use do it, do it. Use it. Do it. use it. Oh. Okay, because as long as I didn't roll a one, yeah. Because if we would have rolled a two and we didn't use it, I would have felt real bad. Yeah. So what clue do we get? We get fifty-one. Yes. Because we kill it. <laughs> you swing your fist at the spirit, and you're surprised that your blows actually land. You're really punching a ghost. Oh jeez. The fight is long and difficult, and by the end of it, the room is in pretty bad shape. However, the ghost seems impressed with you. That's the best fight I've had in ages. He said. I guess you deserve some answers then. Boom. Story card, 34, and we lower our danger meter by four. Story card, 34? 34. Man. You ready for He was impressed by our fighting skills, yo. He was like, good job. I am General Henry Marston. No, Union duh. Army. We figured that out, bruh. And this estate has passed through my family for generations, ever since the first settlers built this town. I regret that I cannot stay long. For though our meeting has invigorated me, I must soon return to my penance below. Before I go, however, I will answer any one inquiry you might have. Choose one and then continue. Oh no. If you ask the ghost about the noises in the basement, draw clue 28. If you ask the ghost about other ghosts in the mansion, draw clue 36. If you ask the ghost about your nightmares, draw clue uh, 43. Is it our nightmare? Like, is that the whole reason we're here? I think so. Because, I mean, the basement... We've already we've already found access to the basement. So we found access to the basement. My thing is, will it help us with the next chapter when we're in the basement? True, because we do have to... So start. either it helps us with what's to come in the basement, mm -hmm. or we find out about other ghosts, which I feel like we kind of already have seen other ghosts in the house, so I'm yeah. not too concerned about that. Or we find out about our nightmare. So my my concern is, because this game can be really tricky making you think that they're going to be helpful and they're not yes. so if we ask him about our nightmares they'll be like beats me and then like flitter away so you want to go for the basement i have no clue i think i can talk myself in and out of every single one of these so what was that okay so we're basement or nightmare okay i mean i feel like that's valid and then unless mm -hmm. you just want to throw the other one in there for funsies I think cutting it down to two is fine. Okay. So one, two, three is the top one, and yeah. three through six is the bottom? Yeah. Four. Three. Three. So we ask him about the noises in the basement. 28? Yep. Key card. My great, great, great grandson has built some kind of laboratory beneath the house. Hmm. You'll need this if you wish to get very far. I think we made a good choice. Yeah. <laughs> Your psychic senses tell you this is an important item. Move forward one space on the psychic scale. 
finish back at story card 34. Okay. Finish back at oh, okay. story card 34. <laughs> Look at his little image. That's pretty great. That's pretty awesome. If you return to the hallway, go to story card 40. If you check out the bathroom, go to story card Bathroom. 50. We've already been in the hallway. 50. Dude, okay, so yeah, I feel pretty good. I mean, it's really annoying not being able to find out what the other thing was. Yeah. And I really want to use one of these items. This is the first time that we've actually been like, if you have this item. Yeah, do this. Mm -hmm. You enter the bathroom and close the door behind you, only to jump about three feet in the air when the door suddenly bulges inward with a loud thud. Frost spreads across the bathroom mirror and you stand so still you almost stop breathing until the frost finally stops spreading. It recedes, and the scary, bulging door returns to normal shape. The bathroom is decorated in various shades of green, and a clawfoot tub sits against one wall. There's a hatch in the ceiling. Maybe it leads to the attic. You lean out of a small window and see a drain pipe on the house's exterior wall. Leaning out further, you see another window, and through it, paintings on the wall. The sun is setting, and the rain is really coming down now, so climbing the drain pipe to the gallery would be tricky. We've already been to the gallery. Yeah. Optional challenge, climb down the drain pipe. We've already been to the gallery. If we win, we lower our danger meter by four, which we really don't need to do. Um, if you do not take the challenge, continue below. Skip the drain pipe and climb up into the ceiling hatch. 53. Okay. So we're going to the attic. Oh my god. I also don't like basements. Yeah, I mean, we have to get back down there at some point. 53. Yeah, 53. After a short climb, you're in the attic. It's dusty and creepy, and there's another ladder here. This second ladder leads to the roof, but you can see through the window that the storm has really intensified. Yeah, I think we're going to get struck by lightning again. I don't want to do that. It's pouring outside now. You poke your head out through the window and discover a stout vine on the outside wall that could easily support your weight. And most importantly, thanks to a wide overhang, Climbing out this way would keep you dry. You can see through French doors on the ground floor that lead into a study. If you climb up the ladder of the roof, go to story card 43. If you climb down the vine of the study, go to card 33. If we head in there. Mm -hmm. And haven't we already yeah. done that? So the question is, are we done? Do we because it's either we I mean we've gone everywhere that we can go, I feel like on the bottom floor. Yeah. So it's either we go to the roof and see what happens. Or we go down and to the study and two. finish chapter two. I'm going to leave that up to you. Because, so we don't have 43 in our discard pile, correct? 43? No. I don't, okay. I mean, I feel like that's cheating, but I don't believe so. House rules, people. House rules. We do not have 43. Okay. On the discard pile. Okay. So, the other one was 33. Mm -hmm. Which we... Which we do have. Yeah. That's where we have the briefcase. Right. Guys. It takes us to the hallway, which goes to the basement. Mm -hmm. So it's either basement or, or roof. The, roof. the only thing is we have that salad. I mean, if we die, right? If we die, yeah. we lose one on the psychic scale. Right. Right. Which I don't think would be the end of the world, but no. it's, it's up to you. All right, fine. What's the number? For the roof? Uh -huh. 43. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh -huh. um, after ascending the ladder, you're on the roof. It's completely drenched from the rain, which, of course, means that you're completely drenched from the rain. But one thing up here looks completely dry. The apparition of the Union General, who is standing right in front of you. Traitor! He shouts, and he grows 20 feet tall. I grant you safe patches, passage to my ancestral home, he screams. In your face, and this is how you repay me. You have no idea. You have no idea why you would be so offended by someone climbing onto the roof, but you never get the opportunity to find out. A gust of wind from the screaming throws your body like a hockey puck against the low railing, and you fall and land with a thud on the ground below, crashing, crushing all of your internal organs in the process. The end. Go back to story part. So yes, we did die for a fourth time. I think that was. Four. I think that was four. Um, so, it looks like we're going down the line to 33, because it takes us back to... I already moved it. Oh, you did? Yep, okay. it takes us back to 53. And look how angry. Like, seriously, angry is the correct and I term. And I like the card said, I don't get why he would be so upset. He called us a traitor. So, we're going to climb down the study. Climb down to the study. Yeah. Which we go to 33. 
Um, we don't need to do the optional challenge for the briefcase. Right. So we did that. So we're going to go to 45. Oh, 45 is not. Oh, was it one of these? Oh, maybe. I think it was. I think it was one of those. Hold on. Let me actually look at it. I did not read it well enough. That's my bad. Clue 45, yes. And then I'm pretty sure that takes us to the basement. You race down the hallway, past photographs and paintings, reach into the hall and find a metal door. Yes. Start current 60. 60. Is, okay. Yep. So goal achieved. That's it. Yep. Okay. Well, um. So it says. Otherwise, you may advance chapter three with all of your inventory items. So well, there we go. We we finished. We finished there are so many two. things in here. I know. So so many things in here. We're running on curtain nails. Well, <laughs> you never know till the end when we eventually just go through them all. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, that's the thing we needed. <sighs> hindsight. So, yeah, hindsight is definitely twenty twenty. So that was chapter two. Yes. We are now in the basement. We have this key card thing in a case full of money, which I don't know how that's going to help us in the future. I guess we pay somebody off. We still have a key that we haven't used. We have two keys. We have a truck key and a glass key. Mm -hmm. We have a satellite dish, weird metal sphere, a large rod that looks like a lightsaber, and the family ring, and we still have our Calvary saber, and a flashlight with no batteries. Maybe we can beat somebody over the head with it. And we've encountered at least one premonition. Yeah, we know this one for sure is these. Yeah. We didn't go into the bomb shelter, so which we don't know might, if this could yeah. be that. This might have something to do And then we still haven't seen a safe, which no. I'm fairly certain that is definitely a safe. Yeah. So, anyway, guys, um, tell us what you think in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe, and let us know if you have any questions, and if you've played Chapter 1 or Chapter 2 and what you think so far. Um, we'd appreciate your feedback. Let us know how many times you've died. Yeah. <laughs> Competition time. How many times did you die? Because we died four times. Four times. <laughs> We're very proud of that number. Yeah, so proud. Anyway, thanks, guys. We really appreciate it. Bye.